Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the final day of Get Ready With Me week. Today I'm going to be ending it on just a classic Get Ready With Me. I've got a combination of some new and some old makeup. I actually was just like swatching makeup and got super inspired by this The Balm Cream Shadow that's like a lavender with gold in it. So that's the route I'm going to go on my eyes, but I've got a new primer from Physicians Formula. I've got some of the stuff I picked up during the Sephora sale, some new NARS including their new tinted moisturizer shades. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the new putty primer from Physicians Formula. It's the Butter Believe It. Uh, and I've only used this about once. The thing that I noticed about this right off the bat is that it doesn't seem to have that same super putty-ish texture that some of the other putty primers have, which um, is kind of a positive for me because I find some of those type of primers just end up doing the same thing that those older sc old school like silicone primers do and that they make my face too slippery and they make the makeup sit weird. So. Um, so far this has been good, but I definitely wouldn't use a lot of it and I just smooth it on with my fingers I don't think a putty primer would ever be my like primer of choice I've yet to come across one that's done it for me that way Over a cream, but this has been I think my favorite so far I have three different shades of the NARS tinted primer, which I'm going to show you right now the new shades I was previously Annapurna. So that is Santiago medium deep one. Then we have Auckland medium two And then finally, this last one here is Sydney Medium 1.2. So I can go Auckland or, what is it, Santiago? Santiago is a little bit more bronzy to, to it. That'll give me a little bit more of a tan, and Auckland is a little bit more my exact skin tone. I'm going to lean into the tan today and go with Santiago. I love the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. It's one of my favorite complexion products of all time. Um, but they got rid of my shade, but it's okay because my shade wasn't actually perfect. Um, this shade is actually a little bit more neutral, I feel like, than Annapurna. Annapurna was quite yellow. But this is such a good tinted moisturizer. It has 1.9 fluid ounces in here. So basically it's double the size of an average foundation. So although the price is, I believe, 60 50 60 uh, you are getting essentially two tinted moisturizers in here and um, I don't feel like you need to use a lot of product so it's not like they put a lot in there because you use a lot I don't use it any more than I have than I use anything else and I think it's just like it's just a second skin like it's so beautiful oh, I haven't worn it in a while and this is the uh, eco tools sponge under my eyes I want to try the new Fenty uh, bright fix eye brighteners I've got peach and deep melon I'll swatch both of these for you. They sent them to me. Okay, I'm gonna use the shade Peach. You can see there. Um, so the lighter one is Deep Melon. More pink in it, and then Peach is more Peach. I don't do a lot of color correcting. I don't have a lot of dark. Oh, a lot of darkness under my eyes. Oof. Is this supposed to be for an application? I don't know if you can hear Emily. She has a she's a chronic nasal issue, and she's a little bit congested this morning. She gets affected by allergy season just like you do. <laughs> I'm going to tap this under the eye, but if you have issues with dark circles and you're like, concealer doesn't work, it's time to start correcting. This way you'll, you'll use less product, you'll actually correct the darkness under your eyes, and you'll use less concealer and you'll actually get the result you want. I've got a video on my favorite drugstore under eye correctors, I think, so I'll link that down below. This is nice. It doesn't, um, it's like lightly pigmented, which I appreciate. I'm going to do concealer, or sorry, um, bronzer first, then jump into concealer. I'm so curious about this. Firstly, Chanel has launched a deeper shade of the Chanel Tan de Soleil, which is a product I've been lusting after since I started watching YouTube like 10 years ago. Uh, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. But NARS has launched the Casino Sunkiss Bronzing Cream. It's limited edition. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it's going to be my shade. They sent it to me and this brush. And I tried the Laguna, I think. But this looks darker and like it's actually gonna oh oh ooh oh <laughs> this is what i was hoping for i really didn't think this was gonna work for me and i really thought it was gonna be a beautiful product and i was like preemptively disappointed <laughs> but now it works for me wow that's a delight I think I like this for application, but not fully for blending the brush, maybe. But this definitely has like bronzy tones, but it definitely is cool toned. 
I can see it looking a little bit muddy potentially, if not blended correctly. For my concealer, I'm going to use this from Kosas. I picked this up um, or when I picked up their tinted oil product and I reviewed it and I forgot to include this in my review. It's in the shade 07. It's their concealer. Put a little bit here. I've been quite liking this domed quo brush for cream products as well. Actually, it's very similar to this NARS. This shade um, from Kosas is a pretty good match for my skin tone. It's like just a little bit brighter. So if you're my skin tone, this is a good shade. If you like to go a little brighter on the eyes, but you don't want it to look too much. I've toned down how bright I've gone under my eyes under the years. We all, a lot of us got a little carried away there for a second. <laughs> but that's okay. Gotta have something to look back and laugh at, you know? Everybody had a trend that they took too far. Every generation, every age group. Ours was probably contouring. Just gonna grab for my Makeup Revolution powder that's right here, the banana. And I'm gonna use it with my sponge. Like that, on that little flat side. I love it for this. I used to do this all the time. Sometimes I do a little powder, sometimes I do a lot. I'm gonna put down quite a bit, or do like a little bit of like glitter today, so I want just a little bit more than normal. Kinda going a little bit glam today. Or not glam, but just, a lot of my get ready with get readies with me this week were um, like job interview makeup, wedding guest makeup that weren't that were like a little bit more subtle perhaps. So uh, I want to go a little bit more today. So this is from One Size. It is the Turn Up the Base Versatile Powder Foundation, Patrick Stars uh, Beauty Brand. This is the powder foundation. This is actually the shade he wear he wears that I picked out from the Sephora website, which I thought was a smart way to do it. I noticed that when they launched Rare Beauty too, they were like, this is Selena's favorite shade. And I was like, that's very smart. It's very good marketing. <laughs> so if you'd like a full review on this, let me know. Outside of my thoughts on the, how they've marketed it on the Sephora website. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I talked about this in a recent uh, bronzers for, um, my favorite bronzers for the summer and bronzers that I felt were suitable for my skin tone. It's a recent video, I'll link that down below, but I've done like five of them now, I think. <laughs> But this is a good one and it has a refill which I think is so cool. It's $65 for the original with this beautiful packaging and you get 16 grams of product. There's a little side promo for this bronzer. Um, but I just think it's a good deal because you get a ton of product in here. So it's 65, obviously it's a higher end product, but you can poke out the back here and then replace the pan, which I believe is 46 to replace. So I like that. I really like the brands have started doing that where you can buy refills, you save a little bit of money, you feel like you're doing something good for the environment, you get to keep using like beautiful packaging. So I think that's cool. Okay, let me go ahead and bring you a little bit closer for my eyes. And my eyebrows have not been done, so please be kind. Okay, so this is what inspired my look today, and it is the Sparkling Lid Quid eyeshadow from The Bomb, and this one is in the shade Lavender Mimosa, but when I went to test it today, the doe foot applicator came off of it which means that the stopper will no, allow, no longer allow me to get product. So I need to take it off. This is gonna get messy. This may be the first and last time I ever use this cream shadow. Stand by. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put down a little bit of concealer on my eyes as a base. Do you ever wake up and your eyelashes are going the wrong direction? Like mine are pointed this way so hard right now. Like flare out, you know, do your thing. Taking the Too Faced That's My Jam palette, I thought this would be a perfect compliment. I'm gonna take this peachy shade here, put that um, in here, just in my crease. I love peach and purple together. Take a tiny, tiny bit of this deeper shade. And I wanna put this down because then I wanna put the cream product on my, like what we would call the mobile lid. We being what I've heard other people say on YouTube. <laughs> So that I have a little bit of definition before I go out and add in like a really bright color that's really gonna be like highly contrasted from my skin. So I just don't want it to look too stark, but I also don't want it to look like a full eyeshadow look. You know, with a clean brush, just blending. So then I'm gonna take this cream eyeshadow and just put it on my lid, right off of this messy stick. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's so pretty though. I just wonder if it's gonna translate its beauty onto my eyes. I don't know how purple it's gonna look. Beautiful. 
I really like the bomb. They're at Choppers now. They're one of the first brands that I really kind of loved. I always saw it on YouTube and lusted after it and I bought I remember it was an internship. <laughs> I remember buying it at work um, off the website Hot Look, and their deals would go live at 12. And I remember, I think we were taking lunch at our desks because it was summer and we had summer hours, so we'd leave an hour early every Friday or leave Friday early Friday afternoons or something. Anyways, I was having lunch at my desk and bought the one of the Balm palettes and their highlighters, and I was so pumped. That's when I lived in Newfoundland. So it's got a special, it's a brand that has a special place in my heart, but it was never readily available in Canada. Maybe I'll take just a little, let's see what happens when I put this matte purple over it. Just to up the purple a bit. Okay, I put on some liner from Stila, the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence, and some Benefit Brow Setter in my eyebrows, obviously. <laughs> What's new? I'm going to use the Lawless Make Me Blush in Desert Rose. I picked this up during the Sephora sale. It's very pretty got this kind of coraliness to it. To highlight, I'm going to use this from Maybelline. This is from the Maybelline Puma collection, which was limited edition. This was the best highlighter they've ever done. It's got a bit of a purple hint to it, so I figured I should use it today. And if you own it, it's a friendly reminder to break it out. It is so good. Their other highlighters are amazing, like the Molten Gold one is beautiful, but this just has like this peachiness to it. That is beautiful. I'm going to put it in my inner corner of my eyes too. And for my lips, going to break out the Milani Brandy. I was talking about this in my wedding guest makeup video, so uh, it's still out on my desk. Sadly discontinued. This lipstick is another one of my kind of favorite peaches that I love mixing with this color of lip liner. It's from Estee Lauder and it's in the shade Seduce. It's just perfect. But I like it just lightly. I'm going to rub it in with my finger. For gloss over, I'm going to put a little bit of the Dior Lip Maximizer and set everything with Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. So here is the finished look, something kind of light and I was going to say springy, but I guess we're into summer now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed Get Ready With Me Week. As always, thank you so much for all of your support. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SmithJNYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!